That trial for Tex MacGyver is going to have to wait until at least next year. It's after a major shakeup in the case. Good evening. Thanks so much for joining us tonight for Fox 5 News at 5. I'm Tom Haynes. I'm Courtney Bryant. Tex MacGyver is accused of killing his wife Diane back in 2016. A jury convicted MacGyver of murdering her in 2018, but the state Supreme Court threw out the conviction last year. Fox 5's Tyler Fingert has been at the Fulton County Courthouse this week. He joins us live now with the details. Tyler. Yeah, Courtney, good evening to you. Tex MacGyver's retrial is now on hold pending an appeal after the judge ruled today that prosecutors cannot use evidence or say that he intended to kill his wife. Tex MacGyver's murder retrial ended before it ever really started. For technical legal reasons, um, we're not going to need you as potential jurors. The jury selection process abruptly ended Tuesday because Fulton County Superior Court Judge Robert McBurney ruled that some evidence prosecutors plan to use has to be excluded. Specifically, evidence they say shows Tex intended to kill his wife Diane in 2016. Tuesday's ruling has to do with double jeopardy. It follows logically from a ruling that the state cannot argue intent to kill that the state would be prevented from entering evidence about life insurance because it's no longer relevant. In 2018, a jury found Tex guilty of killing his wife, but not guilty on the charge that he intended to do it. Last year, the state Supreme Court threw out the conviction, saying the judge should have allowed jurors to consider a lesser count. The excluded evidence was allowed in the first trial, but now isn't relevant if prosecutors can't talk about the financial benefits of killing her. But I intend to include language that will empower both sides to argue the issue before the Supreme Court is going to be does collateral estoppel prevent um, uh, discussion about intent to kill. The judge expects prosecutors to appeal his ruling, but longtime criminal defense attorney Brian Mendelson says it will be hard to get the state Supreme Court to overturn it. This is a major win for the defense. Some of the worst evidence against Tex MacGyver from the last trial was that he had a financial motive to kill his wife. The judge says the retrial will now likely happen middle to late next year, and the legal expert I spoke to says because of the delay, he could ask for bond. Live in downtown Atlanta tonight, Tyler Fingert, Fox 5 News. Tyler, thanks.